Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model in the fastest way possible a 3D kitchen knife in Fusion 360. So let's get started. Before every single drawing the units are very important. So in order to set them correctly we will go here at document settings and we will set them in millimeters because our drawing for today it will be in millimeters. So let's get started. We will create first of all a new component and this component let's name it knife and then press OK. Now this is our active component. So let's start through a new sketch. Let's select this plan for example. Now let's construct a line. So draw a line everywhere you want. A line with a distance of 280 units and then press enter. Now let's use this constraint the midpoint and let's pick this line right here. Let's add now a picture with a knife. So let's go here to the insert menu. Let's go to canvas now. Insert from my computer and select this image found on Google. Face, I'll select this plan because in this plan actually we are drawing and let's scale it. Let's say like this and then press OK. Now we can delete this line. And now let's start to draw on this picture and let's start through a spline. So let's create a spline starting from this point and try to be exactly as much as it is here. Enter. Let's create now another spline starting from this point. Here another one. And here we will use a straight line. Three point arch now starting from this point, the final point and the middle one. Let's say it is here. Another spline here starting from this point again We can delete also this part, so trim. We will create a straight line now again, from here approximately until here. Now we will create two arches, three point arch. Now another one here. Good. Here we will construct another spline starting from this point should be like this. When it comes to this spline let's create an offset approximately here then press enter. Now let's delete so trim trim this part trim this part as well because those there will intersect here. Good. And now our knife is complete. But let's add also this hole. So let's create circles. We will pick up here two point circle. Let's start from this part and to be symmetrical. Let's write 6.5 for example. The same thing here. Circle two point circle. 6.5. And the last one. Or if you want to modify any point, just drag this point. For example, this one. Let's drag it a little bit up. Okay, so now we are done. Let's finish the sketch. Let's go back. Let's disable this canvas. And now let's use the extrude command. So press extrude. Select these three parts. Okay one side it will be symmetric whole length and the whole length it will be two millimeters and then press OK. Let's focus now on this edge. Now we need to construct here a plan. 
because we need a sketch. So let's go here to offset plan, select this plan, let's go to the right plan here and drag this arrow. Let's say we will put it at minus 141 and then press OK. Now we have the plan and now we are able to do our sketch. Right click, create sketch. Let's use the project command, select this one, this face as well, this one, why not? And let's make active our first sketch because we need also this line, we need this line as well and this point. Then press OK. And now let's go back to the front plan and let's create a new line. So from this point until we reach this edge. Another line from this point until we reach the other line. OK. And the final one to close our triangle. Good, our sketch is done, we can press the finish sketch and let's go to the sweep command. Select this part, this one as well and when it comes to path we will select this path. And look at that. The operation will be cut and then we'll press OK. Disable the sketch and to have the same thing in the other side as well let's go and let's use the mirror command. So mirror features and select this sweep. Mirror plane, it will be exactly the middle one. This one and look at that. Good. And now our edge is done. Good, let's go back. Now we need to create here a new sketch. So right click, create sketch. Let's make the sketch one visible again and let's use the project command. Select this entire boundary, also these little boundaries as well. And then press OK. Make it invisible and now let's construct a new body. So extrude, select this part. We will go in this side with five millimeters, but pay attention, we will not be joined the operation, it will be new body and then press OK. Now let's use the fillet command to have these rounded edges. So select every edge OK and now we will apply 2.5 millimeters radius and then press OK and look at that. We want to have the same thing on the other side as well. So you guessed it, we will use the mirror command again. Mirror features, this extrusion and this fillet, mirror plane, it will be the same one and then we'll press OK. And now let's focus on this screws. It is nothing fancy, we'll go to the sketch one, we'll make it visible, extrude, select all these sections, symmetric, whole length and we will write here exactly the distance between this face and the other one. In other words, it will be 12. Join no, it will be new body again. OK, make this sketch invisible and for the final part, let's finally add the materials. So let's go here, physical material and let's select, for example, for this handle, we will select wood. Let's pick one, walnut, for example. Flip it, walnut again, and for the other parts we will select, for example, stainless steel, because it is a knife. So let's go here to metal, scroll it down, until you will find stainless steel. You can pick whatever stainless steel you want. And the final one. Good, and our knife for kitchen is complete. I hope this video helped you. Learn more about this program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.